as used in line 49, clashes most nearly means blank. Cool. This is a vocabulary question. I'm going to cover up our answers. Don't look at them. And I'm going to hop right over into the passage and make a prediction about what I think clashes means in context. Once I've done that, I'm going to take my prediction and I'm going to check it against all the other answer choices. And the answer choice that best reflects my prediction is the answer I'm going to choose. So let's take a look at clashes in context. Here, there's line 45, there's 50, here's 49. Okay, I see clashes. Let me read the sentence that it's in. Many moral dilemmas arise when these three versions pull in different directions, but clashes are not inevitable. Okay, so three versions, they're talking about the three different ways set up in the, in the passage, how economics can be ethical. Clashes are not inevitable. Okay, so a clash literally means like a fight or a collision. Okay, so clashes aren't inevitable. How about conflicts or disagreements? Let's see if that does the trick. So with that working definition in mind, and let me write it down. I'm going to say conflict or disagreement. That's what I think it means here. So let's expose the answer choices. And hey, would you look at that? We got conflicts right there. Now, I should say, I, I didn't know that conflicts was an option. I really set up these so I could do it for the first time. But even if I hadn't come up with conflicts as my prediction, other predictions could have gotten me here. Notice how disagreements could have also gotten this answer. Mismatches. Mismatches could work. Let's save it and see if we can knock out the other two. Collisions, C, and brawls, D. Now, these are both literal fights, so I can check those off, because we're talking about the way that three ideas fight with each other, but they're not literally, you know, punching each other. It's not a physical collision. So we're looking for a figurative use. Um, myths matches is tempting, but matching is really about pairs, and we're looking at disagreements among three things, right? Three different ways of thinking about economics. And we're looking for something that most nearly means the same thing. So again, I cover up the answers, I make a prediction about what the word use means in context, and then I bring that prediction back to the answer choices so that I can make my final selection.